Hey guys, it's KDY here, back with another deck building video. Two days ago, we started to see an uprising of top tier deck Elusive Burn, which focused on getting an elusive unit like Solitary Monk and buff it out with cards like Stand Alone. This deck quickly gained popularity, and I assume we will meet a lot of them on upcoming days. So this got me thinking, if we are going to face this deck a lot, what can we do about it? After an hour of theory crafting, I came out with this deck list and decided to give it a go on the ladder. And as suspected, we met like 8 of them in 3 hours of playing, but guess what? We've beaten all of them and achieved 100% win rate when I was streaming. So without further ado, let's go through the deck building process. 2 Blade Ages, 3 Guiles, 2 Recalls, 3 Fey Blade Twillers, 3 Green Glade Lookouts, 3 Arachnoid Sentries, 1 Might, 3 Steel Tempests, 2 Denies, 3 Will of Ionias, 3 Intimidating Roars, 2 Legion Generals, 2 Minotaur Reckoners, and 2 Mina Swiftfoot. Champions of Choice are 3 Katarinas and 3 Yasuos. Alright, before you go, oh my god, not another Yasuo deck. This deck is really unironically good against elusive burns. That deck relies on putting all eggs into one basket by buffing one unit and rally, so stunning or recalling them really destroys their game plan. What you need to do is to mulligan for any stuns or Wheel of Ionia and play really slow. You know they will bank mana and play something on turn 3 and buff with cards like standalone. So we will just wait for them to bank in, let them spend their mana, then stun it or recall it. Play it slow and develop your units. Once Minotaur Reckoner comes into play, they are forced to use Purify or get stunned every turn. If you are able to play Mina, you basically win the game. As in my opinion, Mina is one of the best late game units in the game. If one Mina is not enough, by all means recall her and play it again. If you wish to see this deck in action, I attach a couple of games that highlight the strength of this deck against Elusive Burn. So here we have a Yasuo Katarina deck, specially tech to counter Elusive Burn. Let me know if you tried it out and comment below if you have any questions. Once again, thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Cheers. Ooh, Mr. Xiao Titi, you're in on a good treat. We are here to counter Elusive Burn. Alright, this is not a good counter hand. We kinda need a uh, Steel Tempest for the stun. But it's not a good turn for him because uh, Elusive Burn kinda want to attack on odd number. You know. The question is do I chill? I do chill actually. We want to save some mana. So by doing this, we have access to both Green Glade and Will of Ionia. Pretty nice. Alright, here we go. Hmm. He doesn't have any. My thing is trying to play his uh, a solitary monk, right? But whatever units you play, you're just gonna stun it, right? Pretty cool. Pretty nice. Here comes Fiora. And uh, do we stun it? We do stun it. So next turn we have enough mana for Yasuo plus Will of Ionia. Alright, still Tempest is good, super good. Oh, holy shit, Minotaur is so good against this deck, my dude. It's gonna get stunned forever. Uh, let me check that deck list. Do they run Will of Ionia? What do they have against uh, Minotaur? It's absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Let's go, Minotaur, my dude. And then we
Buff more. IDC. Goodbye. I don't care about your buff. Deny. Go ahead. Sean, here's another elusive burn. We want Wheel of Ionia. Alright, this is a really good. Maybe it's still Tempest. No, this is okay. We're gonna just stare at each other for the first three turns and then me started stunning him left and right. Um, Him on even is really good for him. It's really good for him. Alright, he's gonna play like Solitary Monk or something else. And then he's gonna buff it up. He doesn't have anything to play, unfortunately. Oh, I'm gonna play Mactarin, I guess. So if he plays something... Oh. I'm still gonna stun it, just in case. This is this necessary? I want to, I kind of feel like saving my mana. Hello Aaron, welcome back dude. So yeah. Let's save some friendlies. Oh nice. How oh, was the game? Was it good? Guess I'm gonna open attack like this and then see what happens. Yours is a good card. <laughs> Too old by Joker. Oh, she. He passed. I'm passing too. So I have enough mana for double Wheel of Iron here. Uh, do I mind taking damage here? I don't mind actually. But it's fine. I want to summon my Yasuo here. So if he doesn't, if he decides to rally and buff everything, try to one turn kill, then we'll use our Wheel of Iron here. So we'll wait, we'll wait for his buff first, we'll take another 8 I guess. Alright, we can't take it anymore because if he... No, 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 we can't take it. If we just take it, we take another 4. But we're slowly moving into our... Alright, this is, this is okay, this is okay. This is fine. We're slightly worried about uh, his another rally. He played really lightly just now, so we can't we can't really play Minotaur here because we can't use Will if we use it. Um, I suppose we can attack, and if we try to buff this guy up, we'll use the Will. It's kind of awkward too, so I think we just need to do this first. Although missing that one damage kind of. Sucks. I could have just used the. Uh, what's that? Blade Edge on this guy. Man, those misplay, man. What if he rallies here? I still have to think through this. Oh, he has 6 mana, he definitely can use his uh, Deny. I guess I can use Intimidating Roll here. We haven't attacked though. You can use it here. If he denies, then we can attack because he will run out of buff. Alright, you know. But he doesn't have any more buffs, which is nice. I got a swing here. 
So him using deny is actually kind of good for us because now he can't deny with a Vayuni unless he has one more deny. I think this deck runs three deny if I remember correctly. Okay, now we got Steel Tempest, it's pretty nice. I guess we're gonna stun this guy now. Watching Moon. <laughs> That's a lot of damage, actually. Uh, denying my Steel Tempest feels kind of weird. Okay. So now I take another 6, so I don't think he can use any kind of a buff with Rally now, right? Ooh, that is... Oh, I actually didn't expect that if he has Rally... Oh, this is fine. Okay then. He used all his mana just to protect his guy. Alright, I'll take it. No problem. Blade Edge is kind of nuts, actually. We will just swing here, and if he, if he buffs up, we're gonna wield it up. Since we got two will, I don't think he can use, like, Deny, right? Now we can play Katarina for extra swing. Mm. This is a little bit tricky. Let me check his deck list. Alright, we don't have to check his deck list. Because we can swing now. We swing now. Oh, we already swang. Ah, we don't have enough mana to swing plus blade age, unfortunately. I'm a little bit worried about him. Uh, attacking, open, open attacking here. Why yeah. last time never reckon? Uh, we're saving some mana for will and deny just now. Because we are have we have to take care of his uh, motherfucker, his rally and boss. We always have to put that in mind because he's used his rally really easily just now. Oh, this might be bad. This might be really really terrible because he might have a buff here. Oh, well, we can't do this. I think this is the only chance. If he has a deny, that we lose. Unfortunately. Hello, Moon Boy. Welcome to stream, dude. Alright, he doesn't have a deny, which is pretty nice. Really good. Really good. Uh, but we still have to chew a little bit because he can play 6 plus rally. I have to always take account of his rally. If he plays some illusion, elusive unit, and rally. Is there a difference if I play Katarina and attack? I don't think it makes a difference. Might as well just summon this guy. If he has a rally, I can just block this, like this. 
Purify. Okay. So next time we'll hit hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking about forcing him to block. I want this guy to out. He coming up is really nice. Yes! We're 100% win rate against this deck, dude! Did he have what rank? I don't know, I can't remember. People are gonna be mad. People are gonna be really, really mad. It's like, oh my god, so he just released a one hour video explaining how this deck can make us to master Mr. Xiaotiti. We faced him just now. And it's not working. Uh, I don't think keeping deny is good. The only thing we can deny is it's rally, right? Yeah, we don't keep deny. We want more stun. I don't think having recall works as well. I don't think Katarina works as well. This guy is kind of okay. Okay, Will is a good card. Will is good. Wait, what? What happened to you, Mr. Moonboy? My dude, what happened to your rank? Wait, he's okay. He's not going to summon anything to begin with, but we can get a free hit here. Not yet. <laughs> Doing okay then. So next time we have a Will of Ionia. D3. Uh... Here we go. So if we use his uh, standalone now and hit, then we can Will. No, you're running out of stuns. How? That's how is that possible? We're gonna do a really crazy shenanigans here to take out his solitary monk. We're gonna do this. I'm not. I'm actually not sure. Okay, I'm not sure if this is the right play. It's just a shenanigans. That's it. Because he's gonna do this right. I'm gonna recall my fate. Hello, Mr. Rick. Welcome to the stream. How's the climb? Climb is really funny today. <laughs> it is extremely funny. This is yeah. This is I think this is uh, guys. My list? No, no, no. This is my own. I don't like his list. Oh, we lost. I forgot about that card. We fucking lost. All right. I think again. This is we. A little bit too over of our head now. We lost. We fucking lost. You were so close, right, Mr. Moon? I thought you were like D1. I did. D140, holy shit, that's so close. That was so sad, dude. So next turn we can play Mina. But this turn we're gonna play Minato. Which we will force him to use his will. If he uses anything now, it's a different story though. We are D3 now? No, we are D460, I think. We force him to use his will here.
you have to use this wheel here. Stand alone? I don't mind stand alone. Oh, this guy is a cheeky bastard, dude. Fucking bastard. He wants me to stun this guy. You gotta take really big hit here. And do anything. But we can play Mina. Goodbye. If he denied this one, I'm gonna go it, I guess. If he has a second deny, I guess, uh, you know, you can't. Alright, goodbye. Are you going to rally? No, right? But this guy is going to get stunned. This guy will get stunned then. All right. Ready? You. 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 Another one! It's Mr. Seldini again! It's the same guy! Oh my god, this is the third game now. I need to think this through. Is Yasuo necessary in this deck? In this matchup? No, we want more recall and stun. On turn 3, he can summon and then we can summon this guy to stun, which is nice. New update? No new update. This is a, a really big streamer. He created this deck. This guy. Everyone is playing this deck right now. Uh, telling, explaining how people use this deck to climb rank. But everyone is using the exactly same deck. No, the ladder is filled with this cancer. It's not cancer, dude. It's food, dude. It's food. Eat them. Eat them out. Look at this. If he attack, he has to use his back to uh, stand alone now, right? I'll just chill. If he uses it, he's got to attack, right? All right, I, I'm, I'm fine for him. I'm taking this one. He has to use a buff. 
Oh yeah, he has to. There's no way he doesn't use a buff here. Quite dangerous for him to use Rally Plus. But it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's alright. But I'm not gonna swing here, that's for sure. I'm gonna let him burn his mana. What do you mean by cancer? It's food! It's absolute food! Okay. Yeah, 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 I'm, I will do it. Because until now we met six, you know? Six player playing this. This, this is the third time we met this guy. And it was 100% win rate, dude. We haven't lost a single game yet. He denied my stun! Oh my god, poor dude! Can we take 6? We can, right? It's a little bit difficult to take it in, but we have to take it. And do this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to recall one of this guy. This guy here. This will force him to react. It's too early to use will, I think. We'll force him to react to get, get some buff here. If he buffs, we're going to recall one more time here. This is just a... Little decoy. Look at this guy. Denying my recall. Corinna, holy shit. Alright, this is not a bit good matchup actually. I was specking towards a uh, elusive burns. Your gold for? I think that the those rank in your game is still kinda chill, I think. Do you want to keep Yasuo? Yasuo is very vulnerable to damage, right? Uh, I think we can keep it. I don't think we need to keep Sentry. No, we need to keep because it's by, uh, running a spider variant. So I think keeping this is okay. Uh, feels a little bit iffy actually. Feels a little bit iffy. Do we need Yasuo to so early? I'll keep it first. Go is a very weird elo. Everyone playing weird decks. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I've been through that. I think it's the same for every uh, meta. You literally playing against Blood? Yeah, yeah, I play against a lot of rank. Uh, immortal, not Immortal. Immortal is uh, Dota. I play a lot of uh, Master. Oh no, we don't want this hand. 
All right, we have Mina now. So having Mina is kind of okay. We kind of want our Green Glade Lookout to reduce the cost for Mina. Actually. The thing I like about this deck, all right, the thing I dislike about this deck is because how combo oriented this deck is. It requires a lot of pieces in your hand. But the thing I like about this hand, however, is how many threats they have in this deck. It's like every unit you play, it's really, really strong, okay? So your opponents are forced to try to remove every threat. But this kind of deck, the whole deck is full of removal. So it's like a really, really good counter uh, against our deck. All right, do he has, do he has a way to bring Yasuo? I bet he does, like Thermo or something, right? But playing first Yasuo, it's fine, since we have two Yasuos. You know? Arena is literally turn 9 deck. Yeah, 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 and his deck is full of uh, removal. Oh, it's okay. If he wants to like use, uh, get excited, Mystic Shot, or even Thermo this guy up, I'm totally fine with that. I don't know. Yeah, in the atrocity, of course. Let's look at the meta. Let's have a few games and have a few regarding today's meta first. If there's a lot of Corina, I would like. I actually like to face Corina because we have a really strong Corina counter, which is our Trampless and Dying deck. That deck is like 90% win rate against all kind of Corina deck. However, it's really bad against fast deck like uh, what's it called again? Like currently we have the uh, Elusive Burns and other stuff and Spiders. Draven Spider even. It's really weak against those. Oh, he just used one Vengeance. Mm. Alright, we're at turn 5 now. The early game is so bad. Yeah, I know, right? Nah, it's okay. I thought... I think the early game is good in terms of uh, surviving and stalling, rather. I thought it's fine. I have a feeling he has a Mystic Shot to try to deal with this guy, right? Uh, well, we, we're gonna keep it safe. We're gonna keep it safe. Uh, he doesn't have any other removal now, so maybe stunning this guy. It feels a little bit pepega, but I don't think we have anything to stun other than his late game target. He's aiming for playing Corina and uh, what's it called? The draws, right? So do we save Steel Stampers? Stunning early kind of flip our Yasuo. Uh, blocking like this, um, he's, he's gonna have mystic shots left and right, right? So it's uh, no, 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 no. It still feels kind of weird. Feels really weird. Mm, although we can play a second Yasuo here. Yeah, I definitely holding. That's why he's trying to get our fade down to two. So basically, Katarina is not really useful now. Hello Aaron, welcome to the stream, my dude, how are you doing? Are you doing great? That dude is... <laughs> Alright, uh, what is he trying to do though? This guy feels kind of weird. Feels kind of weird. He has to get excited maybe? Hello, Mr. Sefkil. Sefkil? How do I pronounce your name, my dude? Alright, guys, this is, uh, this is. We can't find any better chance to use Intimidating Raw ever, right? Um, but playing other stuff also feels kind of weird. As much as I want to play Minotaur, we are super vulnerable against. Uh, what is it called again? Ronations. Since it's really late now. I think we can't have any better chance than this to play TBD Rob. Joker, really? <laughs> Where are you from? Baker deny? Uh... Oh lord. This is not good. Hmm. Yeah, I'm always going to save 4 mana, so he, he feels like we have a deny on hand. Now. We're going to save it. Different agent for this guy. So yeah, you're all from uh, Singapore, right? I have a feeling that Singapore has such a nice Rintera community. But maybe it's also partly because Rintera open beta is only in the... Uh, what is it called? Singapore. 
feels really terrible now. I don't think we are winning this matchup because our game plan relies on having units staying alive as I said before. And we don't have anything to stay alive with, so it feels kind of a bit bigger. Alright, now he recharges his hand. And I guess we're gonna play our Minotaur now. <laughs> Isn't it true, Singapore? Or do you think it's really toxic or something? I thought it's kind of okay, no? He has 8 mana, so he can't play a lot of stars. I guess this is a chance for us to play Legion General now. It's pretty nice because he can't play, he can't block Legion General with Fearsome. He doesn't have anything to block Fearsome at all because he's at least it's 2 and everything else is Spider. So we can really do a really huge hit here. Why not Kata? Kata is basically a dead, dead card by now because I'm sure he's holding Mystic Shot. You want to see a community check out Luden Kuma? What's happening with Luden Kuma? You want to give me a heads up or something? I think, in a sense, Mina is pretty okay against Corina because he plays a turn 9 play, we play another turn 9 play, right? But oh, this is kind of bad. This is really, really bad. Um, too bad we didn't get our recall. I like that card a lot. That's okay, use a lot of mana up here. <clears throat> I guess we can play Aaron Noise Sentry. No, 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 that's too Pepe guard. This is where we play Katari now. Alright. I think this. The entire community is the half tiers. Yeah, 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 I think so, right? I think this is really, really nice. No joke. So, very nice that we have a Blade Edge here. And we have another Blade Edge in the hand. No pe I don't think people expect a uh, Yasuo deck running a Blade Edge, right? You know, generally, a lot of my game plans, if you have been checking out my stream, we rely a lot on people not expecting us to play something. You know? So the, generally, my deck runs a lot of surprises. Singapore community? Yeah, but the thing in terms of gaming community, I think Malaysians are kind of mild. They're generally quite friendly. I don't know about Singapore. Jade Dragon. Oh, welcome to my Discord channel, my dude. Alright, uh, I think we can get some really really good hits in here because we can play Will. If we play Corina or Lodros, we're gonna play Will. And we have two, four, 11 mana. Too bad we have 11 mana because we can't do Will and double Katarina. We can do one Will and one Katarina, which is pretty nice. Oh, he doesn't have it. Pretty, pretty weird. Pretty weird. If you're running Blade Age, what do you think the running copy on Nox and Bulletin? It's a bit too much uh, of the removal. Yeah, maybe it might work, you know. Bulletin sounds kinda good. I think the problem with Singapore is we are all fucking smug. <laughs> what, smug what does smug mean though? Alright, we gotta play Katarina here because- Oh! Did we play- Yeah, 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 we play the reviewed copy. This one is on the right. So, if he has a way to deal with it, we have second copy of Katarina. Baba Kizu. <laughs> uh, Alright, if he doesn't have a serious removal here, we can win in this turn. It's pretty nice. I doubt he expected second Katarina here. Arrogant, in more COVID cases to eat humble time. Uh, I think every country has their own political issues, right? Look at Malaysia, dude. We literally have a government that we didn't vote for. What do you think? <laughs> it's pretty true. It's pretty normal. Yeah. <laughs> we literally have a government that we didn't vote for. Can you imagine that? How how fucked up is that, dude? I kind of want to see his thermal. If he runs out of any removal. No, oh, get excited. Oh, a what? Yeah, it kind of makes sense, I guess. Kind of makes sense. But you get two free hits here in. You can do this. Uh, I no no. We have to do a free hit here. If he uses another removal, I play another Katarina. 
I have to remember this one is the review copy. This one is not the review one. So when this one comes out, it comes to the most right, most uh, part in my hand, right? So we're gonna play the reviewed one. It's thinking about using another one, which is kind of a big guy actually. I'm gonna spend all his money this turn. If he uses another, oh, he doesn't have it. All right. So this one comes to right most. So we're gonna play this copy for sure. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I guess one we'll want to make a good comment is that we encourage one another. Of course, that's called a little bit more wholesome, you know. Putting down each other is called being very toxic. Helping each other up is what I've been seeing a lot in this game. Including I've joined, I have, I'm in the Swims community and I'm in C regions community as well. Everyone's kind of nice, you know. Everyone is being really, really nice. I kind of want. I kind of want to save my my mina. So I'm not sure what I can play here that doesn't die. Feels a little bit awkward actually. Can I just skip here? Skipping feels really pepe guy as well. But this deck is really really active more than anything else. We can't do any big play. We're gonna remember Katarina is on the right. We are all we have all kinds of reactive plays here. It's okay, although against Corina control, any kind of control playing slow, it feels kind of bad. But in this term, it feels kind of okay. We are waiting for him to play something big. All right. Um, I guess we can just take it off or something. Nah, it's okay. All right, I'm gonna play my reviewed Katarina here to get the token back. So if we play something big, we're gonna stun it and then attack. Alright, he didn't play anything, so we can do this. Or we can blade edge this guy so he can't block with the spider. We're gonna deal a little bit more damage to his face. Ooh, it's a grasp. Okay. Grasp here feels kinda weird. Using denial on this grasp it feels kinda weird as well. I don't think we're gonna deny this one, although him getting a little bit health back feels kind of bad. Um, deny is basically saving... Right now deny is like what? Dealing 3 damage to his face and giving us another copy of Katarina. I guess it can, we can. By doing this it feels like, hey, we have maybe we have another copy of Dina or something? Deny might be needed for Corina. Hmm, I didn't think of that actually. Oh, he has a lot of spells. Holy shit. There we go. There's all kinds of spells here. We can use Will, I guess. Since we already have Mina. So by using Will alone, we'll take out all, like, how many spells here? Two. Two more spells and deny his Valfis as well. I think using Will here, it's fine. Although we don't have any units to play for our attack here. It feels kind of bad that we don't have anything to play. Ah, this is okay, I guess. Yeah, look at the number of spells, right? He already used his Valve Feast. Do you think he has another copy of Valve Feast in hand? He already used two so far, actually. I remember him using one, yeah, earlier. That's very nice. So I can attack once here since he doesn't have anything to do. We can summon Katerina and attack again. Oh, that feels really big, man. Feels really bad. He was really terrible. He's still fishing for his Karina and the draws, I think. As long as we have steel tempers, we are safe from sudden death, right? Alright, the draws feels kind of terrible. Mm. Can we kill him here? Let's see, we don't have enough mana unfortunately, so the most we can do is 7 damage. Hmm. Oh, we might lose to uh, a atrocity next turn. Feels really terrible, man. Feels terrible. Is saving Blade Edge just now the right play? No, right? So our only out next turn is like what? Maybe we can get one... We, our out is like Wheel of Ionia. Deny or another Blade Edge. That will, well, that will win us a game. 
Since so we, we are pulling him down to 7 this turn. With a uh, Katarina and this guy attacking. So we have a couple of outs next turn against his atrocity. Deny will of Ionia and even Blade Edge will win us a game. No, actually Blade Edge won't win us a game because he might run... He have a, a lot of heals in his deck. So we're looking for Wheel of Ionia, deny, no, so we lose to Atrocity. What's your reasoning behind Green Gate? I've tried him in Yasuo to be slow, help, maybe hard to protect. Um, it is very difficult to protect Green Gate, that's for sure. But having Green Gate is a really, really nice card. It's really good. It will force people to use their resources on him. Withering Will. Kinda of weird. Really weird. He doesn't have atrocity. And he doesn't have Corina. This one heals him up. The thing is that he's really really um cautious about our Katarina. That's the problem. Because he's he's really he's really vulnerable to our rally here. I don't think this think this true. If he attack he basically loses big he will get stunned. Uh, anything can he doesn't have atrocity. I think playing this is the only choice. Oh the forgot weapon this true. He has another spell to remove our Katarina here, right? Another withering well, holy shit, that's kinda weird. Really really weird. Okay, that is fine. Uh are we gonna attack here? He hasn't attacked yet, so it's kind of weird. Uh, we can attack here. But we don't have... We do have enough mana, actually. We do have enough mana. But does it make any sense, though? If he attacks, right? If he doesn't attack, we can't win. It's kind of bad. We have just enough mana, so I, I can't I can't even play Green Grade. It feels really bad, man. Yeah, his little is keeping him alive, right? There's no way. Uh, because we have to put a little bit more respect on your opening now on this rank. If it's low well rank, he might be smart and not attacking, but he actually attacked. I don't know, man. <laughs> Now we can't win, you know, because we don't have enough mana for everything. Ah, uh, why did I give him so much respect? <laughs> I could have just skipped, you know. I could have just skipped. No, the, the, the. I know I have to stun, but my plan was to stun him and hit him with Katarina and then summon another Katarina for the uh, double Katarina hit. But now I can't summon the Katarina because I summoned Green Gate because I assumed that he won't attack. Oh, if I didn't summon Green Gate, we already won here, right? But maybe he already looked through us. What do you think? Maybe he's like, oh, this guy summoned. He doesn't have enough mana for stun plus Katarina. Do we give him so much respect, Mister Bush? Some? He wouldn't, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We give him a lot of respect, actually. He's counting, he's literally counting on mana. So now we are still sudden death, if he has atrocity, we still die. Mm, Pina, Mina is a play at play effect, so if we play it Mina, and if he has atrocity, he still kills us. So we still have to represent we having atrocity, you know. A uh, deny, we still have to, we still have to like, represent that we have. So we can't use a lot of mana because he will know that okay, atrocity is a is a go now. You were you would have done two last turn six this turn. What if you don't say Kata just now and open attack? Um I'm not sure if that's the way though, because if I open attack with uh, Katarina, he's just gonna block with his draws. So it's like what deal four damage to his uh, draws and then he will attack back because he still have his uh, attack token just now. 
There you go, stunned. I hope he play Mina here. I hope he plays Mina. And eh, not Mina, Corina. What? Please, no atrocity. Mystic shot. Mystic fucking shot. I don't know. I, I, I'm thinking he just don't want to use atrocity because we, we run deny. We run deny, we run deny and the uh, will of Ionia. So he's thinking that atrocity doesn't is not very good, right? If we just use atrocity, then it's sudden death us. He doesn't have mana of atrocity and he doesn't know we have second copy of Katarina! GG dude! Ah, he doesn't have... I've been concealing this Katarina for so long! I've been concealing this for so long! We have two Katarinas in hand! <laughs> oh my god, we actually beat the Karina deck with Yasuo! What? Oh... Another control. Hmm. I've I faced this guy a couple of times, don't see if you Uh guy is also absolutely useless. Absolutely useless. I think this hand is absolutely useless. Hmm, Minotaur might be good, but we don't need to draw him so early. Alright. Having faith is pretty cool. Pretty nice. <clears throat> I actually slot in my blade dish as an experiment. I need to do I need to see how well it does. In this kind of time, I really miss my recall. Recall is so nice here. Eh? Oh, fuck. No yawn. I, I don't like yawn. I really don't like yawn. Yasuo! Hmm, I kind of want to save my deny for his thermal. If I play Yasuo now, I'm just going to thermal it. So I'm playing right into his plan now. He's kind of done. Here comes our recall. Here comes our recall. One more, please, my dude. One more. Okay. 
You're thinking about denying my recall? Can't be, right? You guys are gonna feel really, really pepega by doing that. <laughs> oh my god! It's using so much to deal with my fucking Yasuo. As much as I want to use my blade edge to kill this guy, it's better to save our blade edge for this fucking barrier. That's the reason why we run run, uh, run blade edge. I want to deal with this barrier. Uh, you guys plus two, right? Do you want to do this again? Uh, I think summon Legion Jaren if he's kind of okay here. Although it's still a little bit weak, but at least it's not so vulnerable against all this removal. I can, I guess I can play Yasu again. But is deny really useful? You're gonna use like a lot of removal in my Yasu again, right? Yeah, I think playing Legion, Legion General kind of make a little bit more sense. If he uses so his um, like Flow Mob Beam trying to take this guy out, I'm gonna use one Blade Edge to take this guy because we have another copy here. Yeah, he has a barrier in his hand due to the Key Guardian he just played. Oh. This feels really bad. Alright. I'm gonna play this then. Yuan is really good in this deck. Yuan is really good against like all kind of stall deck in Yayun. But running Yuan, it's um, Yasuo yeah, feels really weird. That's just me. You can definitely run Yuan in your in your Yasuo for sure. Because running Yuan in your Yasuo relies too much on having Yasuo surviving on the board in order for Yasuo to be good, right? We don't have enough mana for Yasuo to attack with Might to deal with this guy and then he uses something to remove our Might, eh, hey, our Yasuo. Feels kinda bad actually. <clears throat> Can only attack like this I guess. Attacking with Yasuo feels a little bit trolly. A bit too cute to try to rely on Might here.
feels really bad though. Using the knight here. I guess I can wheel it. So this guy gets stronger. But um I guess I will it. Oh my god, it's so difficult man. <laughs> I guess I will it. So this guy gets stronger and then one more a little bit closer for Yasuo to flip. So by making this guy stronger, we can use this guy to block, so it's kind of nice. That's why music so loud, I'm gonna put it a bit softer. We have enough banner for Katarina plus D9, so we're gonna do it. Oh my god, fuck this song. Hello Azubu, welcome to the ship. Where are you from? Are you from Singapore too? <laughs> really? I like this song. This is one of my favorites. Hello Kazane or Bar6, welcome to the stream. Are you from Singapore too? Yeah, I like this song, it's really so chill man. So fucking chill. not having a good game that's for sure it's definitely not having a good game Ooh. okay we have really big difference something to think about now no we have to go for open attack for sure now and we're going for the might play so we're gonna op we're gonna attack like oh thank you for following mr azubur this this so this will recall my fei and also flip my yasuo let's fucking go my dude i'm gonna mite this guy for sure all right he has one more card left i think we got this we got this what do you think He has one card, you know? So we have one, we have a deny to do... Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god... We just beat Corina, and then we beat a... <laughs> Come on, Ezreal. 